evicting a tenant can seem like a complicated process, but in this video, we'll quickly explain the eviction laws in North Carolina and outline some simple steps that landlords can take to initiate an eviction. In this video, we'll talk about what the eviction process looks like, how North Carolina laws handle evictions, and how to legally remove a non-compliant tenant from a property. Stick around to the end of this video to find a link to a fillable eviction notice that you can use in North Carolina. First, what is an eviction? Eviction is the process of legally removing a tenant. Even if a tenant has failed to pay rent or done something else wrong, it's illegal for a landlord to change locks on a property or physically remove a tenant from that property. If the tenant refuses to leave after violating the terms of a lease agreement, a landlord must seek an eviction from the court. It's important to note that an eviction is different from the simple termination of a lease. A landlord can opt not to renew a lease after the specified term has ended. There is no need to involve a court in this process. In North Carolina, if a tenant breaches the terms of their rental contract, the landlord can issue what's called a notice to quit. There are several versions of this form and each fits a different situation. One is the immediate notice to quit, which gets used when the tenant has damaged the property substantially or when the tenant gets caught engaging in illegal activity such as the distribution of illegal drugs. This notice orders the tenant to either leave immediately or face a formal eviction proceeding. The seven day notice to quit is used to end a month to month tenancy and gives a tenant seven days notice that the landlord does not intend to renew the tenancy. A 10 day notice to quit is used when the tenant fails to pay rent on time. The notice tells the tenant to either pay within 10 days or face eviction. If after the allotted time period in the notice, the tenant has still not resolved the matter, the landlord can initiate an eviction in the local court. This begins with the filing of a form called a complaint for summary ejection in the county court where the property is located. The clerk will then issue a summons, which is a document that sets a time and place for a court hearing. This will be scheduled within seven days. The seven days does not include weekends and legal holidays. Copies of both the summons and the complaint should be served on the tenant. To expedite the service of these documents, the landlord should provide a stamped addressed envelope for the court. An officer of the court will mail a copy of both the summons and the complaint to the tenant by the end of the following business day using this envelope. If the tenant does not appear in court, the landlord can request a judgment for possession, which is a document that formally returns the possession of the property to the landlord. Tenants that dispute the grounds for eviction can provide their side of the story in court. The magistrate hears the evidence and rules in favor of either the landlord or the tenant. This is known as a trial by magistrate. If the court grants the landlord a judgment for possession, this means that the tenant has 10 days to either file an appeal or move out. If the tenant refuses to move out, the landlord may apply for a writ of possession. This document authorizes the sheriff to remove the tenant and the tenant's possessions from the property. Eviction can seem daunting, but we've got everything you need to get the process started in North Carolina, from eviction notices to court documents. Get started by clicking the link below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to find more videos about legal topics that impact business and everyday life.